So this was a good week. This was a really good week actually. And I think it's really kind of funny because I said that this week was going to be a really good week and it was. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm good. Telling everybody about our school week. Okay. And I thought maybe you could share um, a little bit of your journal with me. Okay. August 8, 2019. Today I learned more about botany. Botany is the scientific study of plants. I had a fun day. I took a kind of boring quiz and I learned a lot about plants. I hope mommy is having a good day too. In math, I learned about rounding. I also took a spelling test. The words were a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. It's an idiom. Love can. So, this was a good week. But probably not for reasons that other people would completely understand. This time around, I am by myself. I thought I would talk about how to start. I've spent the last several weeks working hard on our websites, making the vision that God placed in my heart very clear and moving forward. It was a pretty big task, but necessary. We live in a time where it is as easy as a quick upward swiping motion to lead you down a road of comparison and envy. It is harder now than ever to stay true to who you were destined to be without conforming to bits and pieces of someone else's destiny. It is not easy. We are on a constant quest to discover what God has for our own individual lives and the purpose handcrafted and customized just for us. And vision is the key that opens the door to that journey. Being able to see us as a whole, to see us in the way that he intended for us to be seen. The bottom line in our vision to grow closer as a family, to learn to follow the footsteps of Jesus and become more Christ-like in all that we do, to expand our vision and increase our exposure, to create memories, live a life of faith and love, find joy in the journey. And everything we start in homeschool and life is with this vision in mind. August 8th, 2019. Today I learned how to grow care. You need soil, water, and sunlight. Today I learned that God can do miracles. He is the best person in the world. I love him. He knew me since I was a baby. And there is nobody else better than him. So when I started homeschooling, I was petrified. <laughs> I had no idea um, what I was doing. I say to myself, Serena, what would you say? Um, what would you say to yourself eight years ago when you started? Homeschooling is not without transition. Life is not without transition. I talked about this in my talk on um, homeschooling with a vision and documenting your journey. Homeschooling is a constant transition. You move from first grade to second grade, from one child to um, more than one, from one stage to another. And so I really just sat and thought about what are the things that I have learned that have been very helpful in me learning how to transition into each stage of homeschool in life. So this morning I wrote up a blog post with my thoughts on how to start. Here come two cars. Here come. I finished. Adjective. Adjective. Hey, Savannah. You know what? Article. 
articles are like art uh. articles to sh oh yeah uh, articles are the got it and <laughs> August 8th, 2019. My mom says we are journalists, which means that we take pictures and write stories about what we discover and learn together as a family. I like the way we do school. I can tell that how we learn together is really important to my mom, and it's important to me too. I like morning walks, quiet reading time, writing stories with my brother and sister, and I especially like when we go out to go on road trips and spend time with family and meet new people. Oh, and I'm not the biggest fan of math, but I'm working on that. Love, Cam. Traveling is a huge part of our homeschool vision. Of course, for all of the beautiful places that we'll get to see, but really, it's about the people. The people we'll get to meet and love on along the way. We got a chance to go and visit Angie and her family from this gathered nest. I'd say it was magical. <laughs> wonderful to be able to spend time with um, with Angie and her family and it just really felt like the beginning of all the adventures that we have um, ahead of us. We topped it off by spending a little bit of family time um, with daddy and we went to Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. It was like the perfect fit for us. But just being able to um, have the kids run and play throughout the gardens was so magical for me. Created by an artist who is now in his 80s and he took the broken pieces of glass from old churches and, and created this incredible space. Um, so just to have that where we're studying the plants and um, put that right beside this magical garden that's full of all of these broken pieces that are um, orchestrated together by this creative person. It was so magical and so beautiful. I just, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Philadelphia artist Justin Tyner thoughtfully mixes salvaged and repurposed glass to manipulate the effects of light. He uses the bottoms of discarded bottles and fallen stained glass from abandoned churches to create new psychedelic works. Piece together poems, kaleidoscopic patterns, and geometric forms make up his works of art, all of which filter light to create limitless color combinations. Tyner's stained glass pieces pay tribute to the history behind the materials he uses and express his own personal feelings and memories. One of my favorite parts of this tiny adventure was the scavenger hunt that they send you on when you first come in. A bug, a big cat, a cow, a horse. Sending the kids on their own little mission to explore the gardens around them. Um, 
it was such a good week because it was kind of like all of these things started to fall into place. How to start. I avoid this question like the plague because <laughs> because the reality is uh, there's so many lessons to learn in anything that you start that's new and different and there's so many fears to overcome that just simply are not overcome unless you start. When Serena came to me with the idea of homeschooling, I can't say that I initially was on board. I guess my reluctancy was fear of the unknown. I never knew anything about homeschool or anyone that was homeschooled. But looking back over the years, I'm so glad that you know we've done this. I definitely think there is a bond that we have with them, a bond that they have with each other, and a bond that we have as a family that wouldn't have been the same otherwise. I'm glad she just decided to start. The highlight of this week was just being finished with our website. <laughs> can I cue the, can I cue like the confetti or something? Because I am done. It's like all of these years of just working through homeschool and um, trying to stay true to who we are and our journey authentic, as authentically as possible um, has all come to this point um, of which we are kind of ready to fly. Making videos is a lot of work, um, but I wanted it to be done the way that is for us. Um, and now we're ready. I think we're ready. We have our foundations um, secured and rooted and um, just very clear about the vision and who we want to work with and who we want to create with. And we are very excited about that. So. I have a lot of things planned.